Hello, this is Graham from Let's Learn This .com. I'm quickly going to show you through how to uh, pull mine with Prime Coin today. So uh, the pool I use is beer.org. Um, now to mine on this pool, you need to download uh, Zolo Miner. I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. Um, there's a link here on the peercointalk.org uh, page for beer coin. Um, I'll link to that in the in the notes below the video as well as all the other places we use here. Okay, so we're going to download Zolo Miner, um, and that comes from this download page here. Uh, I've already extracted it um, into uh, into my folder of choice. Obviously, you can put it wherever you want. Um, and once extracted you choose either the 32-bit version or the 64-bit version depending on what version of Windows you're running okay um, and then you'll see that each one has an edit me and you can either re edit those ones or make a copy so that you can uh, see what the original settings were so if we go in to edit it and you'll see here it's asking us to fill in a few different things here so firstly the pool address and we get this um, from this page, which, as I said, I'm going to link to. Um, depending on where you are, EU or US, whichever is closest to you. Um, copy the IP address there, and replace the words "pool address" with the IP address. Um, the port number that stays the same as it is on there. The pool user, you want your Prime Coin address um, from your wallet. You can make a new address if you want to uh, see exactly how your uh, your miners are paying off and your password you can select any password you like um, just make sure it's the same for all of your different miners if you've got more than one machine mining and then your f your uh, processor limit or your thread limit put that in there depending on how many uh, cores your processor's got um, in, in this case on this computer this, it's a four core um, I'm just going to put three in to, uh, to demonstrate Okay, now I've filled all these things in already, and you simply double click and run, and then it starts communicating with the pool. Um, so it's going off to do that now, and hopefully, in a minute, you'll see it start to get some work and do some work, and really, that's all there is to it. You can check in your uh, task manager just to see that it is working. And here, you know, it's going to use 75%, I would guess, of the CPU because it's using uh, three th uh, three cores. Okay, so we know it's working. We can see it working there. So just waiting for it to uh, to come back with something. Okay, now here, after a couple of minutes, it's come back telling us our primes per second. That's you, know, you can take that as the speed that you're you're working at, really. Um, and yeah, I mean, I've been using this this uh, pool for a while. It pays out without a problem, um, and it's pretty simple to use. Okay, well, good luck with that, and I will hopefully uh, see you again in another video. Bye.